do something a little different this morning. We're going to sing a new song that came out this week, and I just wanted to share the, the testimony about it on Tuesday night at one of our prayer meetings. Uh, Brenna Wheatley, one of our worship leaders, who's actually leading worship from screens this morning, was at the prayer room, and she's had a, uh, issues with her leg for over 10 years, um, had torn ACL, has not been able to run, squat, anything in, in over 10 years. And in a moment at the Tuesday night prayer meeting, she's getting prayed over. Somebody had a, a word of knowledge, their knee hurt, and walked up to her, prayed for her, and she was completely healed instantly. Come on. She hasn't been able to run or, or bend it in 10 years. She just keeps walking around like, I just can't believe it, I'm healed. She's from Kentucky, so. She, uh, when she shared that testimony, man, faith rose in my heart. Um, and uh, that's one of the most consistent prophetic words I've heard, not just even at Radiant over this city, is that there's going to be a healing move that comes out of Kalamazoo that flows to the cities around us. And I, I remember, when, and I'm not making a political statement whatsoever, but when the, the vaccine, the first vaccine that left to the world departed out of Kalamazoo, and I remember Andrew Cuomo tweeting out, hope is coming for the world and it's leaving from Kalamazoo, Michigan. And I remember thinking that man is prophesying and he doesn't even know it, that there is healing that the Lord has, has had us contend and fight for as a house. And uh, she came home, Brenna came home from this miracle and uh, told the story to Megan and she just went to her instrument and wrote this whole song just as a prophetic download and started singing it over Celia and Reese. Uh, and uh, right now, many of you know, but Lee and Jane's grandkids, Zach and Ashley's kids, uh, Ashley's in the hospital, they're 23 uh, uh, weeks pregnant and we're just praying and believing for a miracle. We need inflammation to decrease, for their lungs to develop, uh, for their hearts to be uh, stabilized. And we are linking arms together as a family and saying, God, this is, this is not Zach and Ashley's battle. This is not Lee and Jane's battle. This is, this is our battle as a family. And we as a church have been standing and contending that God is still a healer today. This was not stories we read about, but he's doing it today. And when he did it this week, with Brenna, I said, God, you are wanting to stir this. And so I heard this song like two days ago. We don't typically just kind of do brand new songs that take time to develop, but we felt like this was a prophetic song for us to sing. And after the song is done, we're gonna pray in intercession and contend for Celia and Reese and believe for the healings of God. Amen. 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 Let's sing the song. Father, stir our hearts for faith. Stir our hearts in faith.
your hands in this moment and I want to urge you we're gonna pray don't be an audience member your voice is just as powerful before the throne of grace as mine we are gonna join together in one voice and we're gonna pray for Celia and Reese right now Lord right now we ask for these two girls that are in their mother's womb Holy Spirit the same spirit that hovered upon the waters before life was formed on the earth the same Holy Spirit that hovered over Mary's womb before Jesus was born. Would you dwell inside of your daughter, Ashley? And so Holy Spirit, would you right now bring your healing life and power, the same Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells in Ashley and dwells in that womb. And so right now we join together as the body of Christ and we prophesy life, Zoe life right now to Ashley's womb. To these two girls, Lord, we ask for strong, healthy hearts in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask their lungs would develop. Lord, that swelling and inflammation and fluids would go down. Lord, we ask right now, with everybody praying, Lord, would you put your healing power on display? Would you show how much you love your sons and daughters? Jesus, would you display and celebrate your own victory on the cross when you defeated sickness, sin, and death? And so we do not plead our own righteousness, but the blood of Jesus right now. Oh God, we are asking right now in that hospital room that you would do a miracle, Lord, that you would breathe life and wholeness into Celia and Reese right now in the name of Jesus. there's someone near you, would you just extend your hands toward them? We're gonna pray in this moment for healing. Jesus, it's by your stripes that we are healed. And so right now we plead your blood over every physical circumstance right now, over cancer, Lord, 
over broken and torn limbs, Lord, over disease, sickness, and illness. Oh Lord, we believe your blood is more powerful and that your blood speaks a better word than sickness and infirmity. And Lord, we believe your word that by your stripes we are healed. And so we proclaim healing right now to every sickness and every ailment. Oh God, would you show us your power? Oh God, would you show us your power? We've heard of your acts. We've read of your awesome deeds, but Lord, we want to see it in our day and right now. Lord, even those online who are suffering physically, Holy Spirit, I ask for your healing presence and power. Jesus, speak the word and, you, and we will be healed. God, would you release healing power and life in the name of Jesus.